G'day mates, what is up? It is Sid here again, and believe it or not, I'm back for a second video today. Um, what is going on? Um, what will be this video? You should probably already know from the title, it is a guide to where you should go for your attendances. The reason why I'm making this video is because a couple of friends in real life did actually come up to me and ask me, and most of the locations that they were asking for were for the lower range, uh, level ranges, and I decided I might as well make a full one for anyone who's confused. Um, I did get some questions like these in the past, but I only really answer them personally through messages, but this time I'll make a video to answer all of them. So this video will be fairly long because it covers multiple locations for certain level ranges and um, I will try to put annotations on for different level ranges and you can just click on them and skip to location with uh, the range you want so without further ado let's get into this um, from this guide will work from anything from level 20 and onwards so a level 20 to 40 so level 20 to 40 you're going to come to Koenig Square and you're going to go, go to uh, the doll shop so once you come here the doll shop you'll actually come kill these claw machines um, as you see these oops these claw machines up here you're gonna kill these guys and get your attendance done within a blink of an eye so all these locations that I'm uh, recommending should help you finish your, your attendance within the first five minutes or so if not try a different location it might suit your class better so the reason why I love this place is because it's two platforms, uh, very high respawn rates and really helps with attendance. And for and so that's from level 20 to 40. And from level 40 to 50, where you're actually going to go is you're actually going to go to the costume level. For, so floor number five and six, the costume and perfume shop. And you're actually going to kill the mannequins. So the mannequins, same reason as uh, the claw machines. Basically, two platforms, um, once you kill one floor, you can go to the other floor and it'll be fully respawned and vice versa. So this is personally the best location that I can actually find for this level range. So from level 40 to 50. And just try this out. If that doesn't work, you can always try CDs, which are located on the 8th, 7th and 8th floor. So that's from level 40 to 50. Uh, you might notice I'm actually rushing through this because I don't want the video to be too long. Um, I'll have all the locations in the bottom anyway, so you'll be able to find them. So moving on, from level 50 to 60, this is where you're actually going to get a choice from me. So, if you're if you're a fan of platforms, or your class has a chaining skill, whatever, uh, you can actually go to the stairway uh, to the sky number one, and you can actually come up here and fight all these grump pins and loop pins and whatever and they respawn at so fast by the time you finish a form platform like this and you jump down to the bottom you can just jump back up and it'll be fully respawned um, so let's just go back down and see and as you see it's they've already respawned and this is so fast um, personally this is probably one of the fastest for this level range and just I don't know, just go at it, this is really good. But if you don't prefer these platforms, you think they're too uh, too annoying to jump and climb, you have an option, you can go down to Elnaf Ice Valley number 2. So you can come here through the VIP taxi for 45k and uh, MISOs and it'll take you straight to this place. And this place is really good because it only has 3 platforms and you know, all you have to do is just jump down, kill the next platform. And once you're done, all you have to do is just come over to this sign here and teleport all the way back up and jump down and repeat so it's a very fast method uh, very efficient as well pretty decent spawn as well so highly recommend those two places for level 50 to 60 now for level 60 to 70 I'm actually going to give you guys another choice so from level 60 to 70 you can actually come to Orion and you're actually going to go kill the desert rabbits um, so come to Orion, the portal to the right, the very first portal, you can actually fight these sand rabbits or desert rabbits, whatever you want to call them. And the reason why I choose this map is because the map's fairly small um, and it's one platform. All you have to do is rush from one side to the other. If you have good mobbing skills, this will be a sin. Um, and basically, it's just so easy in general and the respawn's really good. Um, where you can also go is actually to the cactus uh, earplug guys these guys and this map is also pretty good um, but 
the thing is, with this map, uh, the mobs have a lot more HP, but it is a smaller platform here, and a pretty okay spawn, I'd say. So yeah, and you can choose between the two platforms. So moving on, um, from that, that will conclude the 60 to 70 range. Moving on from 70 to 80, I'd actually give you one location that I'd suggest, and that is actually Sahel Desert number two. So it's two maps down left from Magatia. And the reason being is there's, it's overpacked with spawn here, as you see. And basically, these respawn like crazy. By the time, see, I haven't even finished off that row and they've already started respawning. And it's just so fast, unbelievable. So, once again, this map is very small, it's compact, as you see. I've already reached the end, and I've reached the end again. And the spawn is just overcrowding, as you see here. And you'll be able to do your attendance so quickly here. Um, if you don't like this map, you think the scorpions are annoying because they're a little higher level, you can always go to Sahel Desert num uh, so, well, Sahel number 1, which is just, oops, there's someone here. So yeah, these are just the sand rats, and you can just go ahead and kill these. Let's not disturb this guy's training. So yeah, these are the two locations that you go for level 70 to 80. Now, you can also actually go to Amiga Sector. Um, and where I actually like to go, oops, Amiga Sector, and where I actually like to go is, let me just find the location, um, it is, should be this one. So I like to come to this place, yep, so the Boswell fi uh, field number two, uh, it's a very small map uh, with a, pretty much two platforms, just a bottom floor and a top floor. And it's just so easy to get your attendance done here uh, from level 70 to 80. Uh, you can actually go up to 86, I believe, or 90, I don't remember. But this is the other place that you can try, like I recommended. So these are your options. So this will conclude the 70 to 80 range. Now, the reason why I say 80 and not 90 for this is because there's a better place. So. From level 80 to 100, you actually get one of the best places. So we're going to head back over to Mugatia, which is why uh, I'd suggest you actually stay in the Sahel Desert to do your 70 to 80. And what you're actually going to do is you're actually going to come to the Al Kadno Research Institute Lab, and you're going to come to Area C2, and you're going to fight the droids here. And the droids are level 86 on oh no, the 88. I don't remember, but I should. But anyways, um, this place once again a one platform and one platform in that little bit there basically and basically it's just a lot of spawn non-stop spawn uh, crowded with spawn actually and the XP is very good so if you want to grind a bit you can also gain some levels here whilst you're doing attendance killing two birds with one stone and really I wouldn't recommend other locations just because this is so fast it's just so good but if you do find this boring and you don't like this place, you can always go to a smaller map, which is in Herbtown. So in Herbtown, where you're actually going to go is you're actually going to go to Red Nose Pirate Den number two. This is personally my favorite because um, all you have to do is just stand up here and you can pretty much attack all the platforms uh, depending on your skills. So this current skill doesn't help me, but I can reach some of them, only some. But yeah, so it's a very small map as you see, and pretty decent spawn, they're all respawning non-stop, and you can just jump down, finish them off, and it just spawns non-stop, pretty much. So this also works from level 80 to 100. Now, moving on, from level 100 to 120, I actually have a very good location for you guys as well. So you're going to go to Ludibrum. And as you see, I'm still rushing through this just because I don't want the video to be too long and bore you guys. So you're actually going to go to Ludibrum and you're actually going to go down to the... So you're actually going to have to go to the warp time, uh, warped path of time number three. And where you're actually going to go is to the portal on the right side of the map up here. Oops. And inside here is the Jewel Ghost Pirates. Now. The reason why I choose this location is because it has amazing spawn, as you see here. So much spawn, and it's just platforms. So all you have to do is just basically jump down. 
So jump down and as you see just platforms upon platforms of mobs. And the best part of, about this is once you reach the bottom, all you have to do is just come over to this uh, yellow block here on the right side and press up and you get teleported all the way back up. And as you see all the mobs have respawned again and you can just repeat this and your attendance should be done in absolutely no time at all. Now this is really one of my favorite places just because it's so compact and so easy to move around as well as limited movement required to actually finish it. But if you don't like this location, like I said, some people don't like Lutheran, you can always go to Leafray. Now, Leafray, you come over to the entrance to the Dragon Forest. So it is this one, entrance to the Dragon Forest. You're actually going to kill the blue dragon turtles here. Um, the spawn's very decent, although it does require a little bit of mobility for you to move around the map efficiently. So I do highly recommend the Jewel Ghost Pirates, but if you don't like the map, you can always come here. And as you see here, really good spawn here. And by the time you're finished with one side, the other side's respawned. And that will be your level 100 to 120 area. Now, if you want to go from 120 to 140, Continuing on from a um, leaf ray, since you're already here, you can actually go over to the burning forest and kill these green cornians. Now, as you see, green cornians have a slightly more platformed map, so if you don't like that, then this isn't that great of a method. But a really decent spawn here um, should be able to help you out very quickly. And basically, this is just a pretty prime location to do it. Um, you can also go to uh, sorry, um, Temple of Time. So this is where you'll go to the very first door. So memory lane number one. Here it is. So you can come here from level 120 to one and kill these uh, monks. So this is a very good map as well because it just requires you to jump down, knock things around and then climb back up and it's spawn is decent uh, I wouldn't say bad because it's just actually pretty decent especially if you have classes with chain chaining skills so yeah you can come here and whilst you're at it you can also farm some pieces of time um, those are steadily increasing in price because people want to get to Meister smithing so yeah this is where you would go from level 120 to 140. Now, from level, to be honest, from level 130 to about 160, you're actually going to stay here. This is my highest, uh, best recommendation, just because you're already here, and all you have to do is just continue moving down as you go. Um, but um, I know some of you guys haven't done the quest and don't want to, but since you're already doing attendance, I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. If you don't, um, you can always message me and I'll help you guys out with some more options. But for now, I think this is the prime location to do all your attendance, as well as make some money if you can. And that will be from level 130 to about 160. Now, I actually want to show you guys where my favorite location for me to do uh, Temple of Time at the later levels at 160 plus is actually this map. As you see here, it's overcrowding with spawn. Um, and this is located at uh, Road to Oblivion number 3 and it's a very small map once again a very high spawn rate um, so yeah whilst you're at it you can also loot some goodies one of the best locations for Temple of Time in my opinion now from level 160 you actually get to go to Future Hennessy's so this place is actually a pretty decent place I actually like to go to the hill north of Hennessy's uh, this is where you fight the mutant slimes, I believe. Yep. So, oh, whoops. There's already someone here. Oops. Okay. My bad. Okay. So, this is one of the maps that I like. And um, you can actually go to this map or you can go to the Ravaged Forest uh, Suspicious Hill. These all work and pretty much that's it. So, now, if you don't like this place, uh, you can go back to the Temple of Time. But it should be pretty good, and if you don't want to, you can always go train at the nice strongholds. Um, they also work. Now, let's go to level 170. So this is where it actually gets a little more exciting and you have a lot more options. So for level 170 plus, you can actually go to the Hall of Honor, which is a prime training location um, in Maple. 
to Hall of Honor and it's just amazing place to train um, and if you have a team or a party you can finish this so quickly uh, if you're very strong you can also solo so yeah those are the options but now there's also other options I can offer you so if you are very excited you can go to um, of course Root Abyss and where you're actually going to go is you're actually going to go through this little thingy here don't know what it's called so we'll make a party very quickly and just enter and show you guys so 180 plus this area it's very fast um, so let me just rush to the other side so basically all you have to do is just kill these guys and they will respawn before you even know it so as you see it's just so many and they give so much XP as well for, for the fact that they have so low HP and as you see they're just respawning behind me already and this is just so amazingly fast um, I think I did this within within three four minutes and it was just I blew my mind when I found this place and it was just amazing now that doesn't mean it's the fastest place so if you're level 160 uh, plus you can actually go to Commercy and in Commercy where you're actually gonna go is to the trading post now I'm sure some people would have already noted any wouldn't have but where you're actually gonna is go on a voyage let me just dash over because I'm on the wrong side so go in here to the trading post and go on a voyage so the voyage basically the one I do gives you a lot of oh crap so just killing the normal spawns in here will uh, pretty much I don't want to go in because it has to be a full run but basically just do a run and you'll get most of your attendance and you can do uh, the later you go on the more mobs there are and you can just finish your attendance in one go and pretty much this is killing uh, two birds with one stone again because you get your uh, your voyages done you get cubic blades and so on whilst you also do your attendance so this is actually the fastest method I can finish my attendance within two minutes and a bit so this is what I actually personally prefer so if you guys haven't done commercy uh, quests please do so and this will be your fastest method so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a message or you can do what you always do. Find me in game or leave a message on Basil to be honest and I'll get around to it. And basically, if you have any difficulties, you can also talk to me and I'll see what other locations you can do depending on how difficult the place is for you. So I'll leave the other things in the description below and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.